Welcome to Jim River for Beginners. My name is Robert Lee. I will be your instructor for this course. Before diving into this online course, I would like to take a moment to make sure you know what to expect to learn from this course. Jim River CC is a sophisticated tool for building websites. It's also an industrial standard website design application. Dreamweaver has a lot of visual tools to help designing and developing web pages. Dreamweaver is also a very good software application for helping you to write HTML and CSS codes. Of course, there are many other HTML and CSS editors out there, but I still think Dreamweaver is the best one. Dreamweaver is included in the monthly subscription of Adobe CC. However, if you just want to try it out, you can go to my canvas and click on the link provided in my canvas to get a 30-day free trial. Dreamweaver is a what you see is a what you get HTML editor. Over the years, I've been using Dreamweaver to design and develop more than 100 websites. After you have installed your Dreamweaver, and this is the first time you're launching Dreamweaver, you'll be greeted by this setup screen, which asks you if you had used Dreamweaver previously. If you are new, you might be intended to click no, I'm new, but I will ask you to click yes, I have. Actually, by clicking yes, I have, you go through less steps by setting it up. In the next screen, Jimmy will ask you, do you want developer workspace or do you want standard workspace? For this beginner's course, I will ask you to click standard workspace. In the next screen, you'll be asked to choose a color theme, two dark themes and two lighter themes. The dark gray is the default. I usually use the dark gray, but if you don't like it, you can click any of these. Don't worry, you can change them later on. You can even change them site by site. When you click Get Started, you'll be taken to the next screen. Unfortunately, because I had already set up my Jimmyfer for a long time, I cannot show you the next screen. But for the next screen, it's very easy. Just close it in the upper right-hand corner. As I remember, there's a close button. Just close it, there. that's all you need. After you close the next line, you'll be taken to Dream Weaver. This is the Dream Weaver home screen. The home screen might be different from mine. I want you to click Quick Start. In Quick Start, you see a lot of different formats which are supported by Dreamweaver. Of course, we are going to use HTML document. So when you click HTML document, you open up a new HTML file. I'm going to close it. I'm going to file, close. You can also click create new or go to file, new. And this will open up the new document dialog box. I'll talk about this later on. So there are three different ways for you to create a new HTML document. So I'll, this time I'll just click HTML document. The first time when you open up Dreamweaver, is quite intimidating. You don't know where to speak in. The top you see all these menus. The first one is file, and you see new, open, open recent, close, close all. This is a unique feature for Dreamweaver. I think Photoshop also have it right now. That means I don't care how many files you have opened, you can close it at the same time. Just like save, save as, and save all. If you want to open up any panels, you have to go to window and here you have all the panels for Dreamweaver. 
So if you lose any panel, all you have to do is click on this and you can open up a panel. Like example, I want to open up a properties panel. I just click properties. And then you see my properties panel is opened. So I'm going to close it now. On the right hand side, you see the usual panels for Adobe applications. At the bottom, you see the DOM, access, and snippets. I want you to drag this out and close it. We are not using it right now. And also in this panel group, you see CC libraries. You see all the icons or colors you have saved to your CC libraries from other Adobe applications. Right here, I have a lot of different icons which I use to design maps. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to close it. CC Designer, we will talk about this later on, but the most important thing is the insert. When you click on insert, you see all these categories. There's a better way to access the insert is by dragging it out and drag it to the top. And then you see a blue bar, release your mouse. And then your insert will be docked to the top of your Dreamweaver page. This is how I like to set up my Dreamweaver. Next, at the top, you see your workspace. We are now in standard. Of course, you can go to developer and also you can save current. If I want to save current, I can just click save current. And so this is safe. Or you want to give a new workspace, you can click new workspace and then you can put in your name. Now, right here, you see that I've got a white space here and also I've got a black space here with some code. I want you to take a look at the top. You see the code. If you click code, you only see code. If you click split, then see this is what you see is what you get. When you click live, you see exactly what is going to be previewed in your browser. I'm go back to split again. Now see the preview is on the top and the code is at the bottom. If you want to change it, go to view, split. Now in the submenu, you see code design, code code, split vertically. I like to use split vertically. The code is on the right hand side and the display is on the left hand side. Now go back to view. Split, you see live view on left, uncheck it, and then your code will be on the left hand side, and live view will be on the right hand side. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the code so you can see it. Anything inside your body, you'll get displayed in your browser. Let's say I'm going to type hello world now right away you see hello world in your live view to save this web page is very easy just go to file and save or, or save as it doesn't matter for the first time you can create either one of these i'll click save i'll just save it to my desktop I just use the word test. When you're saving your web page, two things you have to pay attention to. One, there's no empty spaces between the words. Second, you are not allowed to use special characters. And you say save. Now in the upper right hand corner, that is the name of your HTML page. Now, if I make some changes to my page, now when you see a star next to HTML, that means this page is not saved. So I'm going to use my Control S and save it. So this page is saved. 
So this is the very basic setup of a web page in Dreamweaver. See you in the next video. I'll show you how to set up a website.